Good evening, children. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming and spooky. Why is there a dark corner over there? That must be where the ghost hangs out. And then there's this weird haze over here. Another ghost. Yeah, still spookiness. And as I like to do, I need a haircut. Every year, that on this time of year, is discuss my favorite holiday, Halloween. Now, obviously, Halloween this year is going to be a little different because reasons. But it's nice to reminisce in the nostalgia of the way Halloween used to be, the way Halloween still can be, and the various attempts we're making today to try and make Halloween still a thing. Now, one thing that is paramount with Halloween is the haunted spooky house where you walk in and people jump out to you with the spookiness and the screaming. Haunted houses or interactive dark ride haunted houses like the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland are very much a part of this holiday. Not quite sure how that happened when somebody got the idea to go, hey, I'm going to have a bunch of people come through my house and I'm going to jump out at them holding a decapitated leg because six-year-olds love that shit. Oh, and here's some candy. But it's a thing, and there are still screams going on today. This drive through scream is becoming a thing. There's still some walk-through screams and haunts going on. Even though Knox Scary Farm is not happening, there's still a thing going on at Knox, so all the parks are still doing something except for Disney. How did this all start? What was the very first dark ride? Where did this idea come from? And the best we can come up with from our research <laughs> is the ghost trains. Now, um, dark rides first appeared in the late 19th century at world fairs. They were called scenic railways. And basically it was, you know, a train ride, uh, a, a miniature model train ride, kind of like that you have at Disneyland or Knoxbury farm, uh, either a fully functional full-size train or a smaller train going around a track with usually some type of scenery, often storybook lands, storybook, walk through storybook lands and walk through story, you know, things like that in zoos and the train going through the storybook land were probably the very first pleasure railways. Um, then uh, we got to the tunnel of love or the old mill. Uh, which was usually, you know, a, a circle, water, in the dark, maybe some music. Uh, it was obviously the name Tunnel of Love was a chance to give two people a, some alone time in the dark. Yeah. Um, now, the first interactive dark rides uh, probably appeared around 1901. It was a... a, a, a a ride called the Trip to the Moon. Uh, it was a single rail electric dark ride uh, based upon something that had come around as early as 1928. And um, we were seeing things like this, uh, where you have a single rail, one person go through and there'd be pictures and drawings and maybe like stuff like that. And that would move on to what we best know as the ghost train. Ghost trains began pairing around the 1930s. The track layouts were known usually as pretzels, uh, due to the car trails. It was dark, and these dark rides would usually have, you know, either a uh, pictures, maybe a guy jump out at you, stuff like that. Um, so that's the, the the thing. Then we get the interactive dark rides. Or the, which we know today as basically um, Haunted Mansion. So the idea that um, as this electric track car is going through the dark, its course would trigger events or there would just be events going on, like, you know, something spinning in a circle, Pepper's Ghost, stuff like that. And as the cart would go along, it would see them and sometimes you'd interspace real live actors in between these you know program scares and you know the, the early ones the 1920 the 1930 ones were just basically mannequins you know with a painting uh usually referring to either storybooks or well-known story tales or 
the very beginning of the black and white universal horrors and Dracula, blah, blah, blah. Um, the ideas, you know, would percolate and grow and become what we know today, you know, Haunted Mansion. And then, of course, Galaxy's Edge. Now, there's a lot of different types of dark rides. There's the interactive dark rides. Those are the ones with like the guns where you have like the, you know, uh, Buzz Lightyear. Uh, those first started showing up um, in the late 70s, early 80s, and obviously got more and more advanced. Do we have like Buzz Lightyear's and stuff like that? Uh, of course, then we have like the enclosed roller coasters, which are sort of like a roller coaster that tells a story. So that would be like Blazing Fury at Dollywood, which is considered one of the best Dark Rise interactive enclosed roller coasters in the world. Uh, the uh, log flume that have stuff going on with them, stuff like that. And then we would have, you know, uh, things like uh, uh, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean, stuff like that. Big Thunder Railroad, Space Mountain, blah, 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 blah. So all the way back to the very early ideas of a scenic railroad, storybook lands, um, walk through with dioramas and pictures of, or sculptures of famous stories like, you know, Hansel and Gretel or Old Lady or Pinocchio. Um, early interactive animatronics. Now you might think, well, animatronics are pretty relatively new, right? I mean, 1960s, 1970s, no, no. There are animatronics dating back to the 30s and 20s, these were, were, which were gear operated and stuff like that. I mean, you know, that little robot chess thing. Um, even there was even mechanics and wind up things even before that, all the way back to like the 1800s, there were examples of, of um, interactive dolls and wind ups. And there was like a a Marie Antoinette and stuff like that. So animatronics are not a new thing. The idea of putting these animatronics in rides, well, that is a new thing. And obviously the most famous being It's a Small World, which Walt Disney introduced at the World's Fair, you know, 70 some odd years ago, 80 some odd years ago. Here is this basically classic um, pretzel uh, tunnel of love. It's a dark tunnel, you're in a boat, but suddenly there's things around you that you're interacting with and that are interacting with you. And these little teeny little children are singing this annoying song and blah, 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 blah. And for everybody that thought this was charming, there was somebody else who was like scared to death. I mean, you face it, small world is pretty intense. So this evolution of this idea comes from the very early scenic railways and storybook lands and there are still storybook lands out there across the world that if you're lucky enough you could still stumble across there's storybook lands dating back to the 1920s uh in like uh, montana and and what and these little walk through you know interactive diorama things so and from that we get all the way today to hallow scream and knock scary farm and the idea and these you know interactive and blood and guts and stuff like that. Now I'm, I'm more of as much as I love Knox scary farm and I've gone every year for, I don't know, the past 30 years. Uh, I don't know. I think I've gone to Knox scary farm as long as there's been a Knox scary farm in some work form or another. And I've been to universal horror several times and I've been to Mickey's not so scary, which is my personal favorite, not just because the candy, but I think if I have a choice between a haunted mansion style dark ride walk through haunted house a, a mickey's not so scary uh a, a Knox halloween uh you know which is sort of the charming but still sk kind of scary as opposed to you know this blood gore jump scare flashing light strobe lights um blood and guts melbury manor crap i choose the charming i think the ghost stories are much better than the zombie apocalypse, blood and guts haunted houses. In fact, the best haunted house I ever saw was a little homemade haunt called, um, it was in Babcock Avenue in Studio City. It was called the Hollowed Haunting Ground. It was active for about 10 years. What, it, what was designed by one of the guys who worked on mansion or had something to do with Disney. And it was just this front yard, the front of his house, a little bit of his back of his house, no jump scares, 
It was all atmosphere. It was all just dripping rich with simple tricks, simple Pepper's Ghost, simple animatronics, simple light tricks. And it told from beginning to end this little two, three minute walk through yard. Just an amazing story. Amazing with no blood, no guts, no jump scares. And it was still to this day the best amateur haunt I've ever seen. So there we go. A little history lesson of where the dark ride comes from and where the haunted mansion style of haunted house comes from. What is considered the best dark ride haunted house there is? Most people consider the one at Nobles, uh, the haunted mansion ride at Nobles to be one of the best, if not the best dark rides in the United States, if not the world. Obviously the rides over at Effing and where's that germany finland i don't know i mean if you've ever youtube um you know the best interactive dark rides in the world uh inevitably that place comes up and the rides there are just mind-blowing i mean if you think disneyland is just wow no these drinks and then of course galaxy's edge i mean when it's working galaxy's edge is fucking amazing if you if you get a chance to go through galaxy's edge even if you're not a Star Wars fan, if you just want to see how far the, pro the the technology has come from scenic railways to Galaxy's Edge, wow. But for my my $2, if I'm going to spend money on a haunted mansion, it's going to be the haunted mansion at Disneyland. That is just, in my heart, the best. Or rides like that. Just this, the simple, quirky, sort of charming haunted house. But if you've ever wanted to know how this all got started... There's a little haunted history for you to keep your October brain percolating. Keep that brain nice and tasty so I can eat it later. I will spook you later. Spooky, spooky, spooky.